Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 473. Antipsychotics, Neuroleptics. Name some of the drugs that are in the Neuroleptic category. The drugs in the Neuroleptics category include Haloperidol, Trifluoperazine, Flufenazine, Thioritazine, and Chlorpromazine. What is the mnemonic to help you remember these drugs? The mnemonic just remember there is haloperidol plus all the azine drugs. So that is trifluoperazine, flufenazine, thioritazine, and chlorpromazine. What is the mechanism of action of the neuroleptics? The mechanism of action of all typical antipsychotics is to block dopamine D2 receptors. What are the clinical uses of neuroleptics? Neuroleptics are used in the treatment of schizophrenia, primarily the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Neuroleptics are also used in the treatment of psychosis, acute mania, and Tourette syndrome. What is the reason for toxicities with neuroleptics? The reason for toxicity with neuroleptics is because neuroleptics are highly lipid soluble and are stored in body fats, and therefore neuroleptics are very slow to be removed from the body. What types of side effects are seen with neuroleptic use? The side effects include extrapyramidal side effects such as dyskinesias and endocrine side effects such as dopamine receptor antagonism and this leads to hyperprolactinemia and galacteria as well as side effects from blocking muscarinic receptor, alpha-1 receptor and histamine receptors. The muscarinic receptor blockade would lead to dry mouth and constipation, alpha-1 blockade would lead to hypotension and histamine receptor blockade would lead to sedation. Name the highly potent neuroleptics. The high potency includes trifluoperazine, flufenazine, and haloperidol. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the high potency neuroleptic? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember try to fly high. So the T stands for trifluoperazine, the F stands for flufenazine, and H or high stands for high potency or haloperidol. Name the low potency neuroleptics. The low potency neuroleptics includes chlorpromazine and thioritazine. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the low potency neuroleptics? The mnemonic is just remember that cheating thieves are low. So the C in cheating is for chlorpromazine and thieves is thioritazine and these are low potency drugs. What are the side effects of high potency neuroleptics? What is a general side effect of high potency neuroleptics? A general side effect of high potency neuroleptic includes neurologic side effects such as extrapyramidal symptoms. What are the extrapyramidal symptoms? Extrapyramidal symptoms are just various movement disorders such as acute dystonic reaction, pseudoparkinsonianism, and akathisia. And akathisia is the inability to remain motionless or to remain still. What are the general side effects of low potency neuroleptics? The general side effects of low potency neuroleptics includes non-neurologic side effects such as anticholinergic effects, antihistamine, and alpha-1 blockade effects. Name the specific side effect chlorpromazine is known for. Chlorpromazine is known to cause corneal deposits. Name the specific side effect thioritazine is known for. Thioritazine is known to cause retinal deposits. Name the specific side effects haloperidol is known for. Haloperidol is known for neuroleptic malignant syndrome and tardive dyskinesia. What is neuroleptic malignant syndrome? Neuroleptic malignant syndrome is a condition that occurs with certain neuroleptics and this leads to fever, encephalopathy, vitals are unstable, there is elevated enzymes and rigidity of muscles. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the things that happen in neuroleptic malignant syndrome? Just think of the mnemonic fever. The F in fever stands for fever, E stands for encephalopathy, V stands for vitals are unstable, E stands for elevated enzyme, and R stands for rigidity of muscles. So the mnemonic fever. What happens 4 hours after onset of extrapyramidal system side effects? Four hours after onset of extrapyramidal system side effects, there would be acute dystonia, which includes muscle spasms, stiffness, and oculogyric crisis. What does the word oculogyric mean? The word oculogyric is referring to the rotating of the eyeballs. What happens four days after onset of extrapyramidal system side effects? 
four days after onset, there would be ecchetesia, and ecchetesia is restlessness. What happens four weeks after onset of extrapyramidal system side effects? Four weeks after onset of extrapyramidal system side effects, there would be bradykinesia, and that would be like Parkinsonianism. What happens four months after onset of extrapyramidal side effects? Four months after the onset of extrapyramidal side effects, there would be tardive dyskinesia. What is tardive dyskinesia? Tardive dyskinesia is a disorder that involves involuntary movement, especially of the lower face. The word tardive means delayed, and dyskinesia means abnormal movement. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.